Hi, welcome back to the pit. We have a sellout. The University of New Mexico 4-0, Arizona is 2-0. And as the players are being introduced to the crowd here, let's meet the starting lineup for tonight's team. First of all, for the visiting Arizona Wildcats, they are very young. Michael Dickerson is their best offensive player, averaging 31 a game. A.J. Bramlett out of Albuquerque's La Cueva High School. Donnell Harris is the center. Mike Dibby, Bibby, the freshman you talked about, Nelson, in our pregame. He's not only a great point guard, but he's never seen a shot he doesn't like. He scored over 3,000 points in high school. Again, you can see just one junior, the rest sophomores or freshmen. For New Mexico, Clayton Shields. This guy has played very well from the end of last year, and he picked it right up this season. He's going to have to go to the glass uh, hard tonight because he can get some easy points. Greg Shorenstein continuing to start at one forward spot for New Mexico. Greg continues to play steady. Boy, his rebounding has really picked up the last couple of games, mainly because Kenny, he's quit getting rebounds lately. Kenny Thomas, uh, the preseason All-American sophomore, he needs to start scoring a little bit more inside. He needs to score, he also needs to go after and get rebounds. That's something that uh, the scoring shouldn't depend on. The guards now for New Mexico. The lone senior, actually uh, the second senior in this Number lineup, 40. Charles Spider-Smith. Loves to slash, loves to take it to the hole, just like Dickerson does for Arizona. Coach Bliss talked to Spider. He wants Spider to maybe try and look to get Kitty the ball early to try and get him going. And one of the most improved players on the Lobos, David Gibson. Maybe what he needs to do is concentrate on defense a little bit tonight against that Bibby. David, with this lineup, he doesn't need to score, but him having developed that shot just helps a lot when everyone starts sagging in. Well, it should be fun. Again, it is a sellout here in the pit. Lou Olson is the head coach of the Arizona Wildcats, and what a wonderful job he has done. And for New Mexico, now the all-time winningest coach in Lobo history. It's Dave Bliss somewhere in that pile. There's a look at Coach Bliss. Ninth season at the University of New Mexico. When we come back, we'll tip this thing off. Well, hang on to your hat, folks. Live from the pit, New Mexico against Arizona. This is a series that goes back to 1917, but it's been dominated by Arizona. Although the Lobos do have the lead in the pit. Back in 1988, a game we all remember, I think, the Lobos upset then number one Arizona, a team that featured Steve Kerr and Sean Elliott. Tip is controlled by David Gibson for New Mexico. Guarded man-to-man -man by Bibby. Working it around now. Are you surprised at all they're starting in a man, Nelson? As we see Spider moves in, up in. Well, that's the problem Arizona is going to have because Terry has about a three-inch height disadvantage guarding Smith. Lobos come into a three-quarter court trap to get things started. Here comes Terry. Cut off. Dickerson loves to shoot it. Spider Smith on him. From the corner, Terry misses. Bramlett with the offensive board short. And Arizona will set it up. Kenny cannot let that happen. Ball is stolen away. New Mexico with the early 2 nothing lead. I think A.J.'s got a lot to prove tonight. Look for him to play very hard. Dish it back out. Shornstein looking for help. Batted in the air to Kenny Thomas. Donnell Harris is guarding Kenny Thomas at the moment. Bad pass stolen away by Bibby. Very quick. Three on two. Terry has it blocked out of bounds. Arizona, Mike, whenever they get a steal or something, they will attack every time. They do not set up. Look, going right at it. They had the numbers, but look, Spider come from the side, throw it in the stands. Wasn't sure if it was Shornstein or Spider. I guess it was Spider. Yeah, uh huh. A lot of people doubted that. <laughs> Shorty was trying to get the credit. <laughs> Terry out front to Bibby. alley -oop. Dickerson is alone, and he has it batted away, but a foul on Greg Shornstein. Number one on Shornstein, the senior from Lafayette, Indiana. There's the alley-oop. Alley -oop was a little off. It was a back screen by A.J. Bramble, but freed him up.
Arizona on the board. Dickerson shooting about 75% from the free throw line. He's had two 31 point games to start things off. Second one is no good. Live from the pit, Mike Powers and Nelson France. Light Shields, Spider Smith thought about it. Fading away a little bit in the corner and he hits it. You know what, he had him messed up there. They didn't want to give up Shorty inside. Good ball fakes by Charles Smith to freeze the defense. A two pointer. Kramlitt working against Shornstein and he hits it. And that's a mismatch for Arizona. Shorty's got to do a good job of making AJ catch it further away from the hole. Shield is on fire and keeps it going. Hey, right now, this is offense. Neither team playing very good defense. I suspect that will change before too long. Terry driving in, jump hook is good. Nice soft touch working against Shields, the bigger guy. 7-5 our score. They're in a zone right now, Arizona. They're 1-1-3, tandem zone. Tough shot, and bad shot. Falling out of bounds is A.J. Brown, and I think he took a little shiver from Kenny Thomas. Well, I disagree with the, the word little. Kenny <laughs> hit him right in the back. Kenny is frustrated. Uh, you're going to see it on the replay. He goes up. Watch Kenny come over. That is... <laughs> and Lute Olsen is uh, chewing out one of the officials over there. That's Brett Smith. The Lobos have an amazing string going from three-point land. Only one time in Dave Bliss's almost 300 games here have the Lobos not made a three-pointer. And that's Lute Olsen. And they're going to go over the back foul charged on Donnell Harris. Well, whenever Arizona gets pinned by Kenny, that's when their defense is broken down. They, look, he's trying to fight over. Harris is trying to fight over the top. Uh, they want to be running the post. One team foul for each team. Smith on the baseline. And we're going to have a foul on Bramley. Spider Smith is, is taking over this game from the New Mexico perspective. Good job here. He goes over there. AJ, if he had held his ground and tried to take a charge, he could have done it. But once you get in the air, if there's significant contact, it's going to go on the defender. Actually, Spider lost the ball, I think, before contact was made. First one is good. And Charles Smith coming into this game only 3 of 10 at the free throw line. Well, that's something that's going to change. He's got a nice stroke there. Well, that'll pick up. 9-5 New Mexico. A game with national implications and significance. Dickerson off the screen. Shornstein helps out. Blocked by Kenny Thomas. So four on two to David Gibson. Three. And now the Arizona Wildcats have a break. And Bibby gets a break there. Was falling down and the foul called on... David Gibson. You see how they're even a little reckless. You see, they don't even have the lanes filled, but Arizona, they play very hard in any opportunity. They're going to take the ball to the hoop. A non-shooting foul. Arizona plays it in out to Bibby. Again, just the freshman. New Mexico in their zone whenever Arizona takes the ball out underneath their basket. Perry has been putting it up. A little strong. Rebound, Clayton Shields. Thomas wants it. Pushed out by Bramlett. And we're going to have another foul. Again, it'll be on A.J. Bramlett. He's a little frustrated himself. We have this much talent out there. Both coaches do not want this game, do not want this game decided by the officials. But there you see A.J. pushing. Not the same push that Kenny gave him, but still a push. Lute Olsen obviously unhappy with the way this game is being called early. A.J. Bram will sit with those two fouls. Bennett Davison is in. He's out of California. Transferred from West Valley Junior College. Wearing number 21. One thing about Arizona, they do not go deep. We will see probably only seven players tonight. 
Miles Simon, a returning starter, is academically ineligible as Arizona steals it and then loses it back. Well, there you see the fronting defense by Arizona, and you cannot try and throw over the top because A.J. and, and uh, Harris both are tall, long arms. You have to do something different. Whistle before play stops to uh, kind of lay down the law by where you can and cannot do it inside there. Smith, the senior out of the Dallas-Fort Worth area who is on track to become the all-time leading scorer at the University of New Mexico. Shorty matches up better with Dickerson. I mean, not with Dickerson, with Dixon, excuse me. Dickerson a little bit short. And another rebound for Clayton Shields, who has been doing a nice job on the glass. We thought we'd see some zone from Arizona. At what point do you think we'll get a look at that? Mike, what they generally try and do is zone whenever they make a bucket. Oh! Charles Smith went high in the air. The ball is lost. They're on the floor. Here's Bibby picking it up. It's a three on. Make that a four on two. And it's blocked. We're going to have an offensive foul on Bibby. Well, it's probably going to be goaltending if they hadn't called that. All right, we need to take a timeout. Lobo's up on Arizona 9-5. In the pit, New Mexico leading Arizona 9-5. Arizona has played a little bit of helter-skelter offense, have not been impressed the last few minutes. Nope, they go down there and they'll take the first good shot, and so far they're not making it. Royce only starts thing off. The tip up, no good by Kenny Thomas. And he bats it out of bounds. Good hustle by Kenny. A little surprised to see Royce taking that shot just coming in. One of the things, uh, you're exactly right, Mike. You will see Royce taking longer threes this year. He worked on his strength and stuff, and he's extended his three-point range. Daniel Santiago also in for New Mexico. Good defense by Holdy. Looking inside, that's Terry now. Davison, blocked by Thomas. Shot clock down to nine. Dickerson, he's good. His first hoop, it's now 9-7 New Mexico. I wonder how many times that's been said throughout his career. <laughs> he's good. <laughs> step back, try it again, this time he misses. and that keeps that three point string alive for what that's worth back at the Bibby jump hook again, and again Terry hits it, boy you wouldn't think a guy who stands about 6'2 would be able to make that shot on a regular basis I know you didn't used to be able to well the goal was, it was a lot smaller and stuff than I thought. 12-9, New Mexico. Over to Olney. In the corner, Shields hit one earlier. That's in and out. Olney with the rebound. Shields again. May have been deflected, a little bit short. Maybe running the break. Way outside, and they'll get the long rebound to Dickerson. Fight for it. There's David Gibson coming out of the pack. Now you're going to see uh, Arizona go back to uh, their man-to-man. Kenny Thomas took a step. And it's a turnover charge in New Mexico. They may let guards do that. When big guys are out there that far, you cannot slide your feet. Arizona, they want to try, Mike, after made buckets to get into a zone. They don't feel like off of misses they can get back in time and get their zone set up. And that's why we haven't seen the zone as much because they've not scored very many points the first seven minutes of the game. David puts it up. Not that time. And you're right, he does like to shoot it. Those aren't always the best qualities for a point guard. Spider Smith hits a three. 
So New Mexico now with three three-pointers, one from Shields only, and Spider Smith. High arching shot from Dickerson. Just a two-pointer, 15-11. He's good. <laughs> Please do not repeat me. <laughs> Spider Smith, the leading scorer in the ball game with nine. Dangerous pass, still loose. Terry gets it back, and now Bibby will dunk it down. That was just sloppy there. That was not so much a great defensive play. Lobos just got a little careless. Had a couple of those. New Mexico with four turnovers. Arizona with only one. Arizona not happy with their zone. They're playing man-to-man -man even after made buckets right now. Kenny Thomas spinning on the baseline and scores. That's the Kenny Thomas we remember from last year. See how quick Kenny Thomas got back into the paint? Something he couldn't do last year, outrun most centers. He can do that this year, very good shape. Lost about 20 pounds or so during the uh, off season, is stronger and quicker. 11.39 to go in the first half. The Lobos lead at 17-13. And here, live from the pit, New Mexico, 19th ranked, according to the Associated Press, leading number 11, Arizona, 17-13. 11.39 to go, first half. New Mexico already with five turnovers, Arizona with the two. And the Lobos leading on the three-point category. In fact, the only points off the bench tonight have been uh, from Royce Olney and his three-point. Lobos with a smaller lineup, they can do that because Arizona basically plays a three-guard offense and their guards are not very tall. Eugene Edgerson is in for Arizona. Stolen away almost. Terry tracks it down. Jason Terry against Gibson. Gibson fakes, or rather uh, Dickerson fakes. Shot clock down to 10. Somehow Bibby got it in traffic, and there's the jam. Davidson got free, and that was good defense for the most part by New Mexico. Davidson, he was outside the lane when he took off. Kenny was looking for a block. He was the basketball player of the year in the junior college ranks, according to Basketball Weekly. Charles Smith, wide open. Yeah. Spider Smith gets another three-pointer, already with 12 points. Mike, they're not being able to get the ball inside to Kenny, but he's getting good position. That time he had inside position for that rebound because they're fronting him. Loader in the lane, and, and Terry really is eating up whoever the Lobos have thrown at him so far. He has six points, all from about that same spot in the paint. He loves to get inside the paint, and he's got a good vertical. He can hang in the air. 20-17, our score. A little give and go. Baseline, Gibson has worked on this shot and shows it. Three-pointer for David Gibson. And Dickerson went down. Kenny kind of threw an arm at him. Kenny's got to be careful. He does not need to pick up cheap fouls. Gibson is 4 of 5 for three-pointers, and you know what an improvement that is if you're a Lobo basketball fan. Blocked by Smith. Maybe got away with steps. Back out to Bibby. Dickerson, no conscience, and that's why. Tell you what, though, Spider is doing a good job. That time, uh, the reason Spider didn't have position was because of the block and stuff. Otherwise, he's doing a good job, and he has Dickerson thinking about the block. Three-point game. Interesting matchup between Dickerson and Smith on both ends now. And Edgerson is guarding Thomas. He's stronger, not as tall as the other Wildcat post, but he's doing a good job of pushing Kenny out. A.J. Bramlett with those two personal fouls is on the bench. Smith, oh, good fake. High arching shot, a little bit short. And Davison brings it out of there. Arizona with a chance to tie now with the three-pointer. And Davison is all over the court right now. Batted out of bounds. There'll be a foul on New Mexico. And we'll check out who it is. That's on Greg Shortstop. Number two for him. 
See, Kenny, he reaches in there, but a uh, good call by the official. It was Shorty that had the arm. Uh, Arizona Mike has done a good job of adjusting their big man. Uh, playing Kenny, it wasn't working. It was causing other problems. They brought Davidson in, Edgerson in, and the Lobos are having a harder time guarding them, but they're doing a better job on the Lobos now. And even though New Mexico has hit five three-pointers, we're obviously in the midst of a very tight struggle here. Yeah, one of the things Coach Bliss could try and do is go with a real tall lineup to counteract that. See if you could get the ball just pounded down into Santiago. You have to be careful, though. If it's not successful, it's going to make it difficult for the Lobos to defend. Santiago was in for about a minute and has not returned. At the free throw line. Good bounce pass there. Good bounce. That's that same principle we were talking about in the pregame, although they did it against the zone. Kenny pinned the man, got the ball coming down from the top. Harris over the top, and Thomas with the rebound. Quick outlet. Set up for Olney. Royce Olney brings it back. Shields. Lobo's working it around very nicely. Inside again, and the dunk again. That's not what you wanted to do if you're Lute Olsen. Get Kenny Thomas's confidence up because if he starts playing hard, it's going to wreak havoc on the Wildcats. Dickerson in the corner. That's short. Get that out of there. And they'll call the foul on Thomas. Looked pretty good. Don't you hate it when that happens, Mike? You and I play. Someone brings it in there. We throw it out of there, and they call the foul. <laughs> Watch the body. Maybe it was with the body. I think that's what Moose Stubbe was saying. The only contact there was with the off arm by the offensive player, Davison. That was not, not one of Moose's better calls. But Kenny's gotten away with several, so he doesn't have a lot to complain about. Well, Moose uh, forever will be remembered for the gutty call he made in the Fresno State game. Triple overtime affair and double overtime sending Charles Smith to the line for three free throws that tied it and sent it into a third overtime. That was a gutty call. We need to take a timeout. 27-23, make that 24, New Mexico. New Mexico leads Arizona 27-24, the biggest lead of the game, six by New Mexico. And the lead, courtesy of a couple of Greg Shornstein to Kenny Thomas combinations. It's going to be important for Kenny to go into the halftime with just one foul so that he can continue to play this aggressive full out. New Mexico has a big advantage as far as the field goals, but Arizona's getting more shots. A little bit surprising considering I think uh, New Mexico's a little bit taller or a little bit more physical, I thought, inside. What happened? The guys like Davison came in and just played hard, went after loose balls, got several offensive rebounds. Ben Baum has checked in, transferred from Oklahoma State. Thomas with good position, spinning again and scoring again. He's gone to the baseline each time. Mike, Arizona pushes the ball up very quickly down the sideline. We've seen it on both sides of the court and they just constantly put pressure on UNM's defense. They do a good job of that. Kenny Thomas with eight points after a slow start. Terry getting ready to throw it in. Again, that Lobo zone. Now the Lobos are going to go ahead and come out and play man-to-man. -man. Yes. They were able to match up. Very smart. That's a team that's been playing a long time together. Freshman inside, near steal by Gibson. Terry will put it off the glass, too strong. And we're going to have a jump ball. We'll have a jump ball. And making the call that time is Ed Hightower. Now, Terry, I think if you're going to give him a shot, give him something on the perimeter. Don't let him drive and get into the lane. The shot doesn't look as smooth from the outside. Possession arrow favors Arizona, so they will play it in underneath their own bucket. 29-24. to Bibby. From Phoenix. Yes, his uh, dad is Henry Bibby, former NBA, very good NBA player, now the head coach at Southern Cal. How can you 
play at UCLA and then go coach at Southern Cal. That should be a log inside, I think. Terry again, leaning in too strong, gets it back. Somehow it goes to Clayton Shields who lost it, and it's still a free-for-all finally to Gibson. go again. Difficult play. Smith got it back. I suppose it could have been a travel there. My goodness, it is just a confusing lot of commotion out there. Dave Bliss has his arms raised. That's, that's one they didn't teach me to call in the play-by-play -play school. There you see. Tip, a lot of tip balls. Lobo's constantly out of control. Clayton, uh, that's what Arizona's defense does. I mean, they just are very aggressive, they attack the ball. You keep your calm, a few good passes, you get wide open shots. Approaching six minutes to go first half. Terry has a step, good help by Ben Bob, and the travel cause for travel. Lobo's big men are really helping on the screen. They're coming up showing just enough to allow the guards to get back into the play without overcommitting and getting the ball dumped inside. Turnover is evening up a little bit. I think last time we checked it was 5-2, now it's 6-3. Right shields way out front, gets it back, and hits. He has gotten so much better at that shot from about the midpoint of last season. Lobo's biggest lead right now, eight points. Crowd really getting into the game. Go inside, Harris jump hook, and he scores. Right now, Arizona has a lot of players that maybe we don't know about. They lost five seniors last year, and uh, a lot of them ended up in the NBA, but they have a way of, of just kind of reloading, even though they're not household names yet. We'll have a hold on Terry out front. When I talked to you early on, Mike, about uh, Arizona, they really got the program going because of a local there, Sean Elliott. And that's kind of what New Mexico uh, maybe can turn Kenny Thomas into. A local had a great year this year, and Kenny stays around. Uh, Lobos could really move to that next level. Charles Thomas takes a break, he, or rather, uh, Charles Smith takes a break. He's holding his right hip. Royce well, only replaced him. There's Ben Baum, the big guy, over to Shields. Kind of an unusual lineup, I think, for New Mexico. Need to let their offense make something happen because they don't have Spider in there. Down to 11 seconds on the shot clock. Turnover thrown away. Bibby, that'll be a long two-pointer, and he nails it. The lead was eight, and now it's cut to four. And Dave Liz wants a 20-second time. 4.34 to go. New Mexico up 32-28. And, and the, the uh, timeout situation has changed a little bit this year, Nelson. Uh, yes, it has. That's one of the few uh, rule changes that have come into play. This year you have three 20-second timeouts and only two full timeouts. So five total for the game. Of course, many Lobo fans remember a game that happened in this building seven years ago. Arizona came in here number one in the country. Let's have a Lobo flashback here. Charlie Thomas, Hunter Green and company, Rob Leffel, pull the upset in the pit. That was about midnight when this game ended. It was a nationally televised game. The pit went crazy, and the Lobos won it by one, one of the more memorable games in New Mexico history. Look for the Lobos, Mike, to maybe run a set play and try and dump the ball into Kenny Thomas after this 20-second timeout. Try and get the momentum going back. There's an interesting fact. Based a large part as only hits it from the corner and is fouled. Mike, do I know how to call it or not? I knew they'd get the ball inside to Kenny Thomas. <laughs> One more look at it. Quick release. Well, uh, let's look at it from this angle. There's contact, you can see it in the bottom left-hand portion of the screen. There was contact after the shot. And now New Mexico is up 36-28. This is the biggest lead again. And we're going to have a charge, wipe the basket away. That's something you didn't see Kenny Thomas doing last year. Kenny's a smarter player. Look at him. He'll move his feet. 
This is a no-brainer on the call. Look at Kenny. He was there two or three minutes. I don't care how hard he was coming in there. Mike Bibby's not going to knock down Kenny Thomas. So there was a little active, but clearly contact was made there. Bibby's an awful strong guy. <laughs> Kenny Thomas pushing inside to Ben Baum. Short-range jumper. Too strong. Donnell Harris with the rebound. They bring it down quickly as you talked about this. And New Mexico, in the past six or seven minutes, has done a good job on Dickerson. Inside the paint, almost stolen. There it is stolen. Good job by Shields, who should give it up here. Instead, he'll take it in, and no whistle. Mike, you're exactly right. Uh -oh. Technical foul at the other end of the court on Lute Olson. And also, he may get two technicals because after the technical foul, he took his water and threw it on the court. They're over there cleaning it up. Right now, I don't know if Ed Hightower saw that or not. Well, my hunch is he saw it, but probably didn't want to throw Lute out. And that's just speculation on my part. You see him over there at the top of your screen. A couple of good assistants cleaning up after their head coach. Let's see if we can see what happened now. In the background, Olsen screaming. I think he wanted a charge. And that's when Ed Hightower called the technical foul. The water went flying. Two free throws by Royce Holdy as New Mexico up 10. New Mexico on a 6-0 run in the last couple of minutes to lead at 38-28. After Lute Olson's technical, Royce Olney made two free throws, and now the Lobos will get the ball back. You do not want to get a technical whenever your team is on the fast break. The rule is if you have to get a technical field, you need to wait till the other team has the ball, then you're just giving up the free throws. Gibson penetrating, and he walked. They'll give up an opportunity there, and I think it was a good call by Ed Hightower. Got to make Lute Olson happy. <laughs> that way he can tell himself the technical was worth it. <laughs> Approaching three minutes to go in the half. Inside, they're going to Harris. He goes baseline and lays it in nicely with the left hand. Four points now for Donnell Harris from Salinas, California. Spider Smith stays on the bench. Shields, a little bit too strong. Here comes Bibby pushing. Oh, good outlet. And a foul, and that'll be on Clayton Shields. Thought he might get the intentional, but no. See how quickly they get the ball out that time? Clayton missed it. Was a little upset at himself. He's at the top of the key. He should have been back ahead of the break, and there you see Clayton coming in late. Uh, you're right. That could have easily been an intentional. And Charles Smith comes back into the game. Clayton Shields will sit down. Shields with just one foul. 16 fouls on New Mexico, 7 on Arizona. Now he'll get the second try. Harris' numbers on the year. Dickerson gets it back. Ames. Spider saves it to Royce Alden. Good hustle by Spider Smith. Kenny was open. You got to throw it to him quick because Harris is, is so quick himself. He'll get around in front of Kenny if you don't throw it to him right away. Looks like the Lobos will use a little cop clock right now, and we're going to have a foul in the whole line of Harris. There you see it. The pass. They have it on one angle. Whip it around and catch Harris on Kenny's rear. Get in there quick. 18 foul, so we're in the bonus now for New Mexico. And Eugene Edgerson is returned to the lineup, along with A.J. Bramlin. I'm surprised Bramlin is back in after sitting that whole time with his two fouls. 
I think they wanted to try and save as many fouls as they can, but right now Harris is doing a good job offensively, so if someone's going to have to pick up the third, they'd rather it be Bramlett, I believe. A little bit too strong. And it's tipped away by Baum to Olney. Hanging in the air, and that didn't go down. How can it go down so far and then pop back out? But it did. So it remains an eight-point game. Cross court, Bibby cranks it. Too strong. Baum, and he's out of bounds. You know, Ben Baum has been quietly doing a pretty good job inside. Right now, I think the Lobos are realizing what it's like to have to play hard for 40 minutes because any time they let up, Arizona gets an offensive rebound. The Lobos are used to being able to get those easy second tips in there, and Arizona will batter you on every loose ball, every rebound. Well, the Lobos have not been challenged this year. A 4-0 record and have dominated each game. Arizona has, has defeated number seven at the time, North Carolina. It's going to be too strong there. Now let's see who they give it to. New Mexico. One of the things the Lobos don't do a good job on right now is rebound out of their zone, and that was a the situation there. They're lucky to end up with that basketball because they didn't have great position. And Royce Alley will take a break, and Clayton Shields returns to the lineup. For Kenny Thomas, two rebounds and two blocks in the ball game. And see if he can add some more before the end of, of the first half. Talking about playing hard, Arizona 21 rebounds, New Mexico just 15. Arizona just going at it a little harder right now. Fields decides to go baseline. Defender fell down, and now they'll bring it back. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Usually it's Charles Smith who has the ball in this situation. Now he does. Put it up, draws the foul, and that will be on Dickerson. Pretty good defense by Dickerson, I thought, on that sequence. Charles did a good job of leaning. You won't get that call all the time, especially when the clock is winding down because the refs think we're just trying to throw it up there. But Mike, one of the things last year, Charles only had one, maybe two moves to go to as the clock was winding down. The huge crossover. Uh, oh, but they were beautiful moves. <laughs> they were. But this year he's got several, and it's just that much more difficult to guard him one-on-one -on -one whenever the Lobos give him an area to work in. Smith is perfect at the free throw line tonight, 4 of 4. You saw the graphic, sixth all-time leading scorer at New Mexico. Next on the list, Mel Daniels. Approaching one minute to go in the half. Dickerson working off the screen. We'll track it down in the corner. That's Bibby, wild shot. And Kenny Thomas with it, the outlet. And the layup by Gibson. Gibson was a city sprint champion, and you saw a little of that speed right there. I think Kenny played a little quarterback at some point in his career. 42-30. Five seconds between the game clock and the shot clock. Tipped out of bounds, and we're going to have a foul. A foul on New Mexico with 17.6 seconds left in the half. And Arizona will shoot one and one. What the Lobos need to do right now, they have momentum, they're in a good position. They need to make sure they box out on the free throw. There you see Spider. It was his left arm, I think it was on the back. Uh, but the Lobos need to make sure they box out on the free throw and then get the ball down and get a good shot out of this. Don't end up with any cheap fouls. How about that touch on that pass? David Gibson just running underneath it. Arizona and New Mexico have always recruited against each other, but nowadays it seems like the stakes are higher. That's right. Uh, with Lamont Long, the Lobos believe that they have credibility in Arizona. They just lost a player uh, recently, but if it were a victory here, Arizona uh, could end up losing uh, players in the future. New Mexico went hard after Dion Broom from Mesa, Arizona, eventually signed with Arizona. But the Lobos were in the hunt, really down to that uh, that final weekend. And outs. 
Bramlett, nice hustle to get that rebound, and now Arizona can take the last shot. Ten seconds left. Lobos do not want a foul here. Want Kenny Thomas going in with just one. Good defense. Oh, look at that. Big break. Oh, they're going to call a foul on Shornstein, and that's his third. You know, Mike, I was saying box out on the free throw. You don't have to score. The Lobos didn't box out, end up giving up an easy bucket. That was a ghost foul, but still, not boxing out on the free throw is what set that up, and that's going to give Arizona, although they're going to be down 9 or 10, it's going to give them enough momentum to build on. It's on its way and will be short. Despite that, New Mexico up goes up the ramp, leading it by 10. It's New Mexico, 19th ranked, 42. Arizona, 11th ranked, 32. We will be back with news and a weather update and then more from the pit after this. Here's the way Arizona will start it up in the second half. Dickerson, the junior forward, having trouble getting on track near the end of the half. For New Mexico, balanced scoring, led by Charles Smith and his 14 points. Off the bench, only had nine. Arizona, a total of eight points off the bench. Both teams with the same starting lineups they used to start the game. Immediately pounded into Thomas, back to Shornstein, working it around. Bramlett has some height advantage on Shornstein. Lots of time on the shot clock. Lots of bumping going inside, too, with Donnell Harris and Kenny Thomas. Down to six on the clock. Three-point try in and out. And Harris screens away Thomas. Arizona, very effective defense that time. And the Bramlett who couldn't hang on to it. Bibby, you know, we heard a lot about Bibby's passing ability. And we've seen spurts of it, but he, he's been a little out of control. Yeah, well, he's a freshman playing in the pit. And one of the things, the way Arizona runs it, they don't do very many things uh, just in fast motion. They do everything in helter-skelter speed. 42-32, just underway, second half. Gibson left alone. Wasn't ready for it. Terry doing a good job on Spider Smith. The double team. And Thomas lost it, and he, he's hurt. They'll bring it down to the other end. Inside. To Bramlett, who spins and lays it in. And now we'll have a timeout. Kenny Thomas may be poked in the eye. Couldn't see it from this angle, but he's not uh, grabbing anything, and it looks like he's in a lot of pain, and an eye uh, can be very sensitive. Where's contacts uh, now? Hard to say. Hard to say what happened there. Looks like he got AJ in the in the air and see if he dips his head into AJ. There he hits his head. Into Harris. Yeah, into Harris. Now we couldn't see the other side whether you know he hit his eye or hit his forehead or what, and he remains down. Kenny Thomas, sophomore from Albuquerque High School, Lobos uh, regroup, and I think they're trying to figure out in the huddle exactly what happened. Daniel Santiago will come in and replace Kenny Thomas, who is back up, and that's good news. And we'll keep an eye on him on the sidelines and see exactly what they work on and see if we can tell. Well, we talked quite a bit about a, an A.J. Bramlett-Kenny Thomas matchup, and we really haven't seen much of that. They've gone with, with Harris on Kenny Thomas. After the Arizona bucket, New Mexico gets the ball. 42-34, off the screen. It's in and out. Santiago fights for it, saves it to Shields, and he's fouled. Santiago, that's what the Lobos need right now. Uh, with Kenny, first time he's been out of the game, he needs to come in and play very aggressive, make things happen. You don't want Arizona to get momentum. They've already cut into the lead by two. Now why in the first half, we saw Daniel Santiago for a little bit, and Ben Baum came in and played well. Now in the second half, they start with, with Santiago replacing Kenny Thomas. Is that right. just a... 
what, what's coach think? Well, I think right now, uh, Ben Baum is not a true center. He's a little softer, plays on the outside. And with Kenny out of the game, I think you need to have another center in the game, and that's Sandy Ogden. Okay, more of a pure center. That's right. Yeah, Ben Baum, as we see Kenny Thomas quickly come back in. If nothing else, Kenny got a little breather, uh, laid on the floor a little bit. <laughs> Well, he's not supposed to need a breather a minute and a half into the half. Bramlett spinning and hitting. Good big time move by AJ. Looks like he's coming out a little bit more aggressive. Very emotional game, I'm sure, for, for AJ. His dad, his mom and stepdad still living in Albuquerque and uh, wanting to come back to his hometown and do well. Season tickets, as a matter of fact. Spider Hayden in the air. That was like a pirouette or some ballet move. They've got the wrong term, probably, as Dickerson comes back down and even sets up from that sequence. Lobos lead at 46-38. That's got to really make Coach Bliss mad. They worked on getting back and making them get into their offense, especially after made buckets. Terry on the reach. Arizona bench doesn't like it. And that is his third personal foul. And Lou Olson doesn't have a lot of options with his guards. They're going to call a hold, and that's on Arizona. And Dickerson, I believe, that time. Three fouls on the Wildcats already, uh, none on the Lobos. But, you know, uh, that's good in one sense, but lots of times the number of fouls shows how hard you're playing, and the Lobos need to play hard. Inside to Thomas, and he scored. No, nope, no, nope, travel. It was a late whistle, but I think it was a good call. Brent Smith out top making that call. That situation, Kenny, doesn't, doesn't hurt to bounce the ball one time, get your feet underneath you. And get to the other side of the rim. So no basket. 46-38. Bibby bringing it down. And we're going to have a hole reaching around on Kenny Thomas. So for Thomas, that is number two. There you see Kenny clearly holding that time. Need to move your feet. He does a good job with his front arm, but you can't hold with your back arm. Tipped out of bounds by Charles Smith. Sold out pit tonight. This begins a very difficult run for the Lobos. They play at Texas Tech next week. We'll have that game for you. And then the in-state uh, home and home with New Mexico State. Maybe too strong, and there's Kenny Thomas. David Gibson doing a very nice job on Mike Bibby. Dangerous pass across court to Shields. Alley oop again. Thomas goes in and scores it. And not a, very few players are going to be able to stop that. Double-digit lead again. Kenny Thomas, second foul in the last 30 seconds, his third. That's one of the things that Harris and Bramlett normally don't do, and that's go right at the centers. Usually they shoot fadeaways, but whenever they go right at Kenny, it gives them an opportunity to get him in foul trouble because uh, he is prone to pick up some fouls. Kenny Thomas will take a seat now with those three fouls, 10 points. Daniel Santiago replaces him. Steal by Smith. Lazy pass. Spider driving in. In and out. Oh, good. Charles can't believe it. 18,000 other people can't believe it either. That was a nice, soft, laid it right on the square. That's a bad ball. Must be something wrong with that ball. Check the glass, too. Inside, and Schornstein with the rebound. One of the things that Daniel can do, he can play behind Harris and Bramlett because of his arm span and his height. Something think Kenny Thomas can't really afford to do. Trying to get it to Spider Smith. Crossover dribble back out to Shornstein. Inside the big guy! Who lays it? Same play we talked about during Chalk Talk, Mike Powers. Hit him on one side, dump down from Shorney. 50-38, that ties the biggest lead of the game. Now they'll go to Bramlett down low. He scores.
Norris. Those two faced each other in high school. La Cueva against Del Norte High. And A.J. Bramlett now with eight points. A little bit short on the layup by Gibson. It's a three on two. Terry, three-pointer. Battle for it out of bounds to Arizona. 15-13 to go, first half. New Mexico up by 10, 50-40. More from the pit after this timeout. A 10-point lead over the Arizona Wildcats. Arizona will play it in underneath their own basket. Alley-oop and the dunk set up beautifully. That's Davison with the jam. That's his second one of the night. He can get up. Looking inside for Santiago. Kenny Thomas still on the bench. There's Shields. And he will walk, trying to force it a little, a little bit. And now with 14.56 to go, Arizona trails by only eight. Lobos need to have a defensive stand here. We go Gibson is playing for the outside, and Davidson just got by him. No one inside saw it coming. Wide open is Dawson, or Davidson rather, and he lays that in. Some confusion on defense, and the lead is down to six. Lobos need a bucket here. Arizona starting to feel a little confident. Greg Shornstein about to pop a three, and uh, the Lobos call a timeout. Greg couldn't be it. I believe it. A couple of uh, birthday wishes we want to pass along. Tomorrow, for both Lamont Long and Royce Olney, it is their birthday. Uh, Long will be 20 or 19 tomorrow, and Royce will be 21. And also, we want to uh, send a happy birthday wishes to Mary Mason, the uh, mother of Lobo assistant coach Tony Benford. So, happy birthday to all three. Arizona feeling pretty good, I think, right now about the situation. They've uh, clawed back into it, down just six. And, you know, because they basically pass it once or twice on offense, I mean, they can get into a game uh, real quick. And with Kenny Thomas on the bench, the Lobos need to take care of the basketball, run their offense, and get a good shot. Three fouls for Kenny Thomas. That's why he's down right now. Shields coming off the screen, wide open, a little bit strong. We can see that from here. And the rebound, Edgerson. I think he got hit on the elbow that time. Looked like he may have been tipped. Batted away by Gibson. It's a foot race. David Winston. David's not going to lose very many foot races, like you said. Great speed, and he can really explode as he goes into the layup. Back up to eight points for New Mexico. David Gibson with seven in the game. Gibson's guarding Dickerson. Interesting matchup there. Spider is on Bibby. Here's Steele. Bramlett jump hook scores. Pretty looking jump hook. Uh, you know, you're talking about Gibson on Dickerson. The Lobos do a lot of switching with the guards out there. So that wasn't by design. Though. No, that's why you're going to see Gibson basically on any of the three guards that uh, Arizona plays. 52-36. Wide open. Too wide open? Maybe. And Santiago is hacked there by Edgerson. And the foul is on Edgerson, and I'm not sure. Are they going to give Santiago two? I'm not sure. He was, yes, they are. He was fouled so hard. You see there? Daniel playing strong, pushed off a little bit. Lobos with not very many offensive rebounds. It's a very big plus for Daniel to come in and get one. Yeah, Arizona had a huge edge in that category. This has been a clean ball game. That's the first little scurvy's, I think, we've had. Except for Lute Olsen's. <laughs> Santiago has a generally a nice touch for a big fella. Last year came in and uh, made a lot of clutch free throws in some big games. For Daniel, that's his uh, third point of the night. He'll take a break with three points and two rebounds. And Kenny Thomas returns to the lineup. Dickerson bringing it down uh, against Charles Smith. Blocked, but no. Whistle and a foul. 
probably not a wise thing there. He's already taken a bad shot. Uh, Spider coming up from behind here. Watch this. Shorty already has him stopped. Already, he's already having to adjust his shot. See that? And there's Spider. He jumps into him with the body. That was a good call. Yeah, he had a tough angle to make a good clean block coming from that uh, from behind over the left shoulder. Dickerson that, hits the first. That's a good example. I mean, Arizona, they come down, uh, they keep it simple and try and play very hard, but their offense is a screen or two, and they just make something happen. Dickerson with 12 points. It's a five-point New Mexico lead, 53-48. Lobos led by 10 at the half. As the baseline. No. To Bramlett, who's free, and the dunk. A.J. Bramlett, that's one thing he could always do, was run the floor extremely well for a big man. Well, boy, Arizona, their guards, they've always got their heads up, looking ahead. Uh, Lobos, uh, anytime there's a letdown mentally, they pay for it. This is the closest it's been since 27-24, 53-50. Spinning inside, fading away, and he is fouled from behind, so Thomas will shoot them. Last year, Kenny stepped up to the line and made crucial free throws all of the time. He's 0 for 1 tonight. He's got to get mentally tough and climb back up there whenever he gets fouled because of the way he plays. He's going to shoot a lot of free throws. So it's a little bit bigger lineup now with Davison in instead of Terry. Nothing but net there. In New Mexico, they have uh, three big men in the game right now. Shields, Thomas, and Shorenstein. And about to be another one, Ben Baum. It's a little shot. 54-50. working against Dickerson, actually vice versa, in and out. Shornstein with the quick outlet. Gibson will take it in and it in. Whoa! A little tit for tat that time, Arizona. A little slow getting back, and Gibson all the way. You can't let that happen. Arizona's got to have someone step in front of him. Well, there were about four Arizona players in the paint, but none of them did step in front. And Shornstein with the reach, and that's his fourth. Now, Shorty, when A.J.'s that far out, he doesn't need to be going for that one. New Mexico leads it by six. 18,000, 18 fans in the pit watching New Mexico lead Arizona 56-50. And they say in basketball you can't teach height, but you can't teach speed either, Nelson. Look at this. David Gibson, nice move there. Takes it all the way, and like you said, my four Arizona guys in the paint, but no one ever got in front of David. If you do that, then he has to go around and gives everyone time to get set up. But that's, you know, what's funny. That's what Arizona's been doing to the Lobos. Gibson with nine points. Charles Smith leads the way with 16, but only two in the second half. What's well, funny, New Mexico, Mike, with just 22 points in the paint. University of Arizona, 34 points in the paint. A.J. Bramlett has 10 of Arizona's 18 second-half points. Good show coming back home. Ben Baum is in, and A.J. wants it. Fight for it inside. Still loose. Finally, they get it to Kenny Thomas. Down to Gibson. Can he lay it in again? The tip is good. No, no, they're going to blow it off. That's one of those that's very, very close. Clearly the ball was a miss. It was coming off, but whether it was off enough for Royce to tip it in, I think it was a good call. It was still on the rim. I was just surprised to see Royce up there that high. Yeah. Ball still in the cylinder, at least in part. Well played after the first five or six minutes as far as the turnovers. Bibby is short and out of bounds off Baum. He didn't expect it to come back at him so quick. Well, one of the things Ben Baum 
He was going for a block that time. Ben Bonham is not going to block a shot. He needs to get in position for the rebound. Him and Shorney play with their bodies. They're not going to block shots. i tell you, the Lobos looked a little confused on their defense off the inbounds. Dickerson was wide open, but or rather Edgerson, and he didn't know it. Bibby sets up. Really has had some troubles. Davison inside, and they'll call a block on Shields. All of this, Mike, is caused by the Lobos not getting a defensive rebound. Uh, a game that's going to go down the stretch like this, that's what's going to kill you is offensive rebounds. Uh, they've got to get more physical. They've got to start boxing out. So Bennett Davison will go and shoot two. Nice looking stroke, no question. Averaging six points, five rebounds a game. Royce Alney is out. Junior from TRC, New Mexico. And he's now six of seven. And it's down to a four point game again. Turnaround there, Lobos don't get an offensive rebound. What started that was the, off the missed layup by David Gibson in the offensive goal team. Whistle inside on Arizona. Edgerson again. Kenny Thomas, this is where he was uh, money last year. Is once he got the other team in the one and one and then the double bonus, he would just throw the ball into him and he would go to the free throw line. Last year he was making them. He needs to do that tonight. And another whistle as we come back to... Uh, Live action again on Arizona. So let's see, that is seven now on Arizona. We're we're in the bonus, and Charles Smith will shoot one and one. And that last foul was on Edgerson, so he picked up two very quick ones. He has three. Now Charles was making his free throws. There you see four for four. I told you he was going to be better than whatever he was coming in. Three this of game. ten coming in. I don't think we've seen uh, Clayton Shields. Yes, he's two for two at the line tonight. He came in 94%. So Smith starting to get a little bit on track here in the second half. 58-52, New Mexico. Going to Bramlett again. He's double teamed. Wide open and hitting the three-pointer. That's Dickerson. I don't think, I mean, A.J.'s playing well, but you don't want to double team him and leave Dickerson open for the jumper. That's not a good trade. 58-55. And they're going to call it on Edgerson again. Number four. Three of those within uh, the last minute, I'd say. And Kenny Thomas will shoot one and one. And he needs to be careful not to pick up a technical foul there. I think it's okay. He's just talking to the ref, and that's okay. I mean, as long as you're asking, what is it? I'm doing, he was saying, I think I have my arms up. What's the foul? And away from the ball, after the shot, Shields on the push. So the free throw's no good. And Shields will pick up the foul. That's the 16th foul. Clayton's third. Same as a turnover whenever you step up there and miss the front end of a one and one. And also, that makes Kenny not want to get fouled if he doesn't have confidence in his free throws and he won't take the ball at the de defender as much. Ten minutes left to go, regulation. Arizona, a chance to tie. They have never led in this game. Dickerson to Bramlett. One-hander by Bibby. It's a one-point game. So Arizona, after trailing by 10 at the half, is down by just one. The Lobos are out of sync, both on offense and defense right, right now. No question about it. Smith will take it. Good rebound by Shields. And he scores. Somehow in traffic. Shields in double figures with 10 now. And quickly back down the other way is Arizona. Side to Harris. Quick move. Too strong. And Thomas is there with the rebound. He 
job of Kenny Thomas, just moving his feet, doesn't need to go for a block. If they shoot it over in the making, that's a good play. Sloppy pass batted away. Oh, good dish to Bramlin. That's what Bibby does so well. 60-59, New Mexico. And Dave Bliss looks for that 20-second timeout. 8.39 to go. So what's Dave Bliss thinking about right here? He needs to come up with a way to get the crowd back in the game and also get your players' confidence. They're not playing very confident right now, both on offense and defense. There you see Bibby, nice dish, avoiding Ben Baum. Ben had a good position, but a guy like Bibby, his head's up, he'll go around. So, you know, last year what they did, and try to pound the ball into Kenny Thomas. His confidence has dropped since the first half, since picking up those fouls, missing those free throws, and also I think the fact that A.J. Bramlett is having a very strong second half is affecting him. So maybe you want to try and set Spider or Clayton. Arizona has uh, doubled the offensive rebound output of New Mexico. Dickerson, leading scorer for Arizona with 15, Bramlett with 14, Davidson with 12. For New Mexico, Smith has 18, Thomas 11, and Shields 10. Greg Shornstein has returned to the lineup. Ben Baum is on the bench. Into the corner, Shields. Good time to hit it. Lobos need to get back. If they can get a stop now and build on that momentum, that's what they need to do. Bad pass. Outlet to Gibson. Who lays it up? That was the first three-pointer for New Mexico of the half. And now Arizona finds themselves down by six. And the crowd is back in it. Timeout worked just like Dave Bliss had hoped. Bibby didn't know he was so wide open, and he drains it. Must have been a good screen inside. Yeah, they got confused. Clayton didn't do a, a good job on the switch. Bibby getting untracked a little bit. He has nine points now. Shields throws it away. That's one of the things teams want to do. Make Clayton Shields put the ball on the floor because he makes bad decisions sometimes. 65-62, more Lobo basketball after this. Here comes the Arizona Wildcats. This time it's Mike Bibby from the corner. There you see Clayton trying to fight over the screen there, a little late getting there. Now, Mike, one of the things, Charles Smith was four for eight the first half. He's one of six here in the second half. Arizona will play it in after the turnover. There's a look at the uh, three-point shooting. Arizona has not has not taken very many tries from three-point range in this game. Well, New Mexico's uh, first shot defense has been very good. It's where they're getting hurt is on the offensive rebound. Jason Terry has returned. He has four fouls. Royce Alney also in. Back door. Davison spins and scores. Very well done. One point game. Once again, a defensive breakdown. Spider got back cut for the easy shot. Only fakes. Into the corner. Shornstein. That's strong. Now Arizona can take their first lead. Lobo one shot and out, Mike. Terry's left alone. And we're going to have a foul inside. That was set up because Royce let Terry get by him. Kenny had to step up, give a little help. There you see Kenny stepping up there, leaving his man open. Charles Smith with the foul. He has three, and he will take a break right now. So it's Gibson, Olney, Shornstein, Shields, and Kenny Thomas for New Mexico. Donnell Harris will shoot two. Well off the mark that time. What are you going to tell the Lobos here? What do you think Coach Bliss is saying on this free throw? Um, cross your fingers. No, get in there and box out. That's right. We're tied. 65-65, first tie of the game. Lobos have not been able to put Arizona away, and now it's a dogfight. Dangerous pass. Shot clock at 13. You can see that one coming there. We're going to have a travel or 
double dribble is the uh, official's rule. The Lobos are not attacking right now on offense. They're just standing around hoping that Kenny's going to get open. I mean, he wasn't even close to being open. They need to look for their shots, make crisp passes, and crisp cuts off the screen. Spider Smith's break was uh, not very long, and Royce Olney will sit. 6.17 to go, 65-65. Glad you're with us on Q13 exclusive Lobo coverage. A little excited. Here's Thomas inside. It's blocked back. Terry bringing it down. Davison with it. They'll reset with 19 on the shot clock. Dickerson open. Another offensive rebound, and we're going to have a walk. Davison uh, went a little bit too quickly, and a travel back the other way, so it will remain tied. Lobos have dodged a couple of bullets, not getting those uh, offensive rebounds. They need to come down here, and they need to get a score, and then they need a stop to get the crowd back in it, because this crowd is sitting on their hands right now. Shields open. Yes. David Gibson with the assist. Again, confusion, and Dickerson can tie it, but he doesn't. Harris. Shields with the rebound. Lobos, those guards are really having problems picking up their man. That's because, see, they get down there so quick sometimes, your man's not there yet. You just have to find the first open man. George Stein, baseline. Other side for Shields, no. And a whistle over the back, and that is now four on Spider Smith. And we have a one and one. Did that look to me, uh, look to you, Mike, like a frustration foul? I mean, uh, they have good position, and uh, Charles just kind of jumps in there. I think close. a little bit, yeah. I think, you know, he, he, he wants to make something happen and hasn't been able to do that in the second half. And Charles is a senior. He should be able to handle that situation that he has throughout his career. Royce only returns. Charles Smith will go out, and this may be just a little bit of a reminder. Charles, you got four fouls. We need you. Play smart. That's exactly right, and also maybe they want David to do some more penetrating, and Royce and Clayton are two great guys to spot up for the three. One and one. No good. Now, Bramlin has done just about everything else right tonight. 14 points, 12 in the second half. Well over his average of uh, just over three a game. And it looks like that's what they're trying to do right now. And Shorenstein draws the contact with Brown. I'll tell you what, Mike, uh, whenever Shorty sees this on the replay, he's going to say, I should have made that shot because there was not much contact. Great pass. David keeps his cool, bounces it there. Now watch, watch the contact. Gets A.J. up in the air, gets hit on the arm, but then he's completely free, a foot away from the bucket. Should have made that. For Arizona, Harris is out, and that was a look at Eugene Edgerson. Hornstein had some, he had some trouble, remember, at the free throw line last year. This season he's shooting 75%, although hasn't really spent much time there. Lobos could expect a little pressure from the Wildcats. They've got a smaller lineup in right now. Good rebound by Olney. Good hustle after the miss. That's his second one of those tonight yes. off a of missed free throw. Shield way out front. Trying to give it to Kenny Thomas. And he scores! I think he took a shot across the face but still made it. 71-65. Lobos have their defense set up. Haven't had that in a long time. Dickerson double team gets it to Bramlett, and he hits it. 71-67. Down to a four-point game again, and for Bramlett, that's 16. Look, they'll, they'll trap on the first pass. That's what Arizona likes to do. Schornstein pulls up. That's going to be short. 
Arizona on the break, hustling down. Good passing. A foul, and Arizona can tie it. So pulled it within one. My mistake. Shorty, that was an awful long three that time for him to be taken. Do a good job of getting back to some extent, but boy, all five have to get back. Foul was on Olney, his second. Smith comes in for Olney now with 3.32 to go. Hamlet trying to pull Arizona to within one again. out of bounds and that is off Dickerson and New Mexico will play it in there is a timeout on the floor 331 to go don't go anywhere the Lobo lead is just two number 19 team in the country leading the number 11 team in the country by two points with 331 to go and now Dave Bliss's bunch will face full court pressure by Arizona back to David Gibson now 71-69. Maybe cuts off Gibson now. Looking for Kenny Thomas. Now they go to him. He's way outside. Gibson will take a three-pointer. Line drive. No good. Tip back out. Instead of grabbing it, Charles tips it back and it's Arizona's ball. Three-pointer would give Arizona the lead. Here's Terry. At that time. Under three minutes to go in regulation. A.J. Bramlett, 9 for 10 from the field. Oh. The rest of Arizona, 19 for 52. Wow. 90% versus roughly about 33%. Bramlett, of course, won a state championship in the pit here for La Cueva, his junior season. Shot clock to 10. We're going to let Gibson do the one-on-one -on -one here. Still with it. Fade away. Yes! Oh! 13 points. Quiet ones for David Gibson, but none bigger than that. Arizona running a set play out of their box set. There's a steal by Shields! A 20-second timeout by Arizona. Very good anticipation by Clayton Shields. That was a set play off the double screen to get Dickerson the three off the top of the key. Clayton saw it coming. You see the double screen. Clayton cuts up the oh. middle. I don't know if he's that fast, but it was fast. And his, his arm, he kind of reached right through a couple of, of screens and somehow tipped it away. 75, 69, 158 to go. That's a 20 second timeout charge to Arizona. They will have the ball in. New Mexico will bring in Shornstein, Smith, Gibson, Shields, and Thomas. This last minute and 58 will last a long time because Arizona, they didn't take long for them to get shots off. So the only clock that's going to be wasted is whenever New Mexico has the ball. Look for Arizona to look for steals or try and foul. Both teams with nine team fouls will be in the double bonus from here on in. 18,000 plus in the pit on their feet, including us. Shields and Dickerson, baseline, hands in the air, short. It's out of bounds, and they're going to say it's off Thomas. I might be the only one here, but that looks like a, a good call. I think we're taking a vote now. You are the only one. No. Well, okay, Lute Olson, I just said. He, <laughs> he voted with me, too. That's a fresh shot clock. 1.41 to go. Offensive rebounds. Lobos cannot let that be their Achilles heel. Bibby was left alone for a moment. Looking inside, cross court to Dickerson. Smith, and he need him, and Charles is done. Charles Smith fouls out of the ball game with 18 points. 
So what does this do to the equation for New Mexico? For one, you don't lose anything in terms of uh, heady play. Uh, both those guys are good players, but they're both prone to you know make some mistakes. We're talking about Royce. Royce. Royce coming in. I mean, Royce is not a, a true point guard, you know, bringing in another ace like that. But they're both excellent free throw shooters. You lose some height on defense, and Spider's one of the best defensive players in the world. Royce needs to take care of that basketball, which can be a problem for him. That's right, and also whenever he gets trapped, he'll have a harder time seeing over the top of him. But all that said and done, I'll tell you, if I was going to get in a fight, Royce only would be who I want. You talk about a competitor. Dickerson now will shoot two, as we are in the double box. First one good. 16 points for Michael Dickerson. Second one also good. Here comes the pressure. Across to Royce who brings it across the timeline. Just to bring it back out, watch the double team. And we're going to have a whistle of the foul on Bibby. And that's what's scary. I mean, Royce isn't as quick. It's easier to double. Uh, they had him there. Uh, they got the, got the good call and foul. 75-71, 127 to go, and Royce Aldi will shoot two free throws. I like bringing up Spider, I mean bringing Kenny up to break the press. It's easy to get it in 21, but then two, even if he's double teamed, he can see the whole floor. It is an excellent pass. Well, did they just start booing AJ? Yeah, they didn't mind AJ doing uh, playing here, but whenever he's 9 for 10, uh, they had uh, other thoughts about it. Both of them good by all. A clutch free throw, 77-71. Six-point spread. Way outside, Bibby, no good. Dangerous pass, and that really hurt New Mexico as Kenny Thomas went flying in. And for Kenny, is that number, that's four on him? So the Lobos had a huge break there, and Shortstein sloppy with the pass. Well, you see a little contact there. That was, you know, could have been a foul, but it was probably incidental contact. Going back to it, though, uh, the Lobos, when they get a, a rebound or a loose ball like that, you want to get it in the hands of David Gibson. Clayton and Royce are not the guys who want to get the ball in the hands of. No good for Bibby. Mike, what are we telling them here? What's Coach Bliss telling them? Box out. No second chances now. Maybe gets the second one. Five point game. Now to Gibson. Down the sideline and the foul. So they got it in the hands of the right guy. But Arizona is foul fouling quickly like they should. That's on Davidson. And again, it's a big advantage to be able to shoot the two rather than the bonus. That's right. Now, Davison is one of the guys out there that's going to need to foul because Arizona has a lot of guys out there that are in foul trouble. Davison just has the one foul. Rattles that one down. Only is six for six. Seven for seven. 13 points. 79-72. Lots of time left. Dickerson long three-pointer, in and out, and they're going to call a foul on Shield, so he will get three. Well, you talked about the gutty call that Moose made uh, to let Charles shoot three against Fresno State. Uh, he's not afraid to call it if he sees it. Crowds don't bother him. I think he got him. I do think he, he ticked him on the right elbow. And that's four fouls on Clayton. Arizona getting to shoot a lot of... Uh, score points with the clock stop. Dickerson at the free throw line of six of seven now. 18 points. Gets the roll, gets the shooter's roll. 79 74, five point game. Now box. Only with the rebound. And he's immediately fouled by Bramlett. Well, that's good in the sense of no clock 
being wasted. On the other hand, uh, David Gibson, uh, someone that's not been tested tonight at the free throw line, I don't believe. I would put him at the line. And he, as the point guard, he's going to have the ball quite a bit, make him shoot some free throws. Gibson has not been at the line tonight. He is the only one on the floor. Off the mark. Of course, maybe A.J. knew something that we didn't know. Coming into this game, Royce had not shot a free throw this season. It's the second one, so he's seven of eight and mad at himself. Need to get a hand up. Dickerson, high, arching shot, no good. Shornstein to only again. And finally the foul. Tell you what, you have to realize how much time is left for Arizona, Mike. There is plenty of time left. Right. There's no reason to shoot a three with a tie all over you. All they need is two and keep working the clock. foul on Dickerson. Hightower and Steubing uh, having a little conference there. I always would like to know, what are they talking about? They, you, know, you know a good restaurant in town? or Let's not have an overtime here. <laughs> well, we're all for that. First one, no good. Still a six point spread. Would like, you to, would like to get it to seven, so it's a three possession game. And he does. Royce is 9 of 11 now. Maybe almost walked back door. Block! No! Foul! And that's 5 on Kenny Thomas. And there's some words exchanged down there. Thomas is done with 35.1 seconds to go. Now you've got another problem. You're taking out a key player there. You're going to be bringing someone in who's cold off the bench. And you lose a rebounder here, clearly, uh, at the free throw line. Dickerson will shoot two, and we are a long way from over. For Kenny Thomas, he finishes with 13.7 rebounds. At a strong spurt in the first half, uh, it did, was not able to match A.J. Bramlett here in the second half. Now we're going, or Coach Bliss is going, with Ben Baum instead of Daniel Santiago. Now that's different than the move he made in the first half. Uh, and I'll tell you, Ben Baum, I think, is a better passer. And also, I think Ben is probably a better free throw shooter. And when I say probably, at this time of the year, stats don't matter that much. It's what you see in practice. Timeout on the floor, 35 seconds left. We'll take a timeout and be back with more local basketball after this. but also remember he drove in, pitched it out to Clayton when the Lobos were stagnant on offense. David Gibson, our Corley's Albuquerque Lincoln Mercury Bobo player of the game. Dickerson's first one, short. <laughs> Look at Ben Baum in there. Ben is already ready to go. He knows that Davidson can get up and he knows he has to get the rebound. Second one is good. Six-point game to David Gibson, trapped in the corner, gets it out, all the way down to Ben Bond, to Clayton Shields, who was fouled with 29 seconds left. Clayton's going to have to step up there. He's a guy uh, who's been in pressure situations before, and that's five fouls on A.J. Bramlett. Now, they're going to run out of players, but, you know, New Mexico's running out of players, too. Charles Smith and Kenny Thomas. A lot of people say the big one-two punch, they're on the bench. New Mexico does not want this game to go into overtime. Well, so much for a uh, native son here, right, uh, getting the booze. But A.J. Bramlett played a wonderful game. 18 points, four rebounds, or is that six rebounds? Four rebounds, nine of ten field goals. Yeah, gets the roll. Bramlett really kept Arizona in it early in the second half. Second half, he's the one that uh, I think really got them going. They were a little down offensively and also doing a good job helping on Kenny and guarding Kenny. Eight point game, 83-75. Bibby from straight on. It's short. Bob is there and he is fouled. 22 ticks left and New Mexico leads by eight. And it'll be interesting to see who the foul is on. I think Arizona could be losing another player if it's on Dickerson. It is on Dickerson and he is done. 
and he is one of their, probably their best three-point shooters. So Dickerson has been informed that he is through for the night. Lute Olson will make a substitution here. He has a minute to do it. Dickerson, 20 points, 9 rebounds. Again, in the previous two games, he had 31 against North Carolina and 31 against Northern Arizona. Ben Baum, a big rebound down there. Uh, he's got a, had a good pass to Clayton Shields last time. Uh, lots of times these games come down to your guys, your six, seven players, have to come off the bench and finish them off, especially when playing a game as physical as we've seen tonight. Bomb for two. And that's not quite what I expected. He's over two on the season. Like I said, he's a better free throw shooter than Daniel Samuel. That, did, that didn't look, look so good there. That one does. 84-75, nine-point game. Lobos do not want to foul. Terry will uncork it. Long one to Harris. Bibby now. That's no good. Davison over the top. Still another offensive rebound. And Davison will jam it down. And will have a timeout. So with 3.5 seconds left, Arizona calls a timeout. And here's the pit crowd. You know what, Mike? Uh, it's a very good victory for New Mexico. But I think even in the win, they can learn some things. One is they have to play harder all the time. I mean, Arizona, I think New Mexico has better talent. But Arizona played harder tonight, and you can see that by looking at the difference in rebounds. Does that come from being a nationally ranked team year in and year out and bringing in some of the best players and, and having something to live up to like Arizona does? Now that may play a part of it, Mike, but you know what I think it is? I think it's the teams they've played this year. They've been fire tested. They know what it takes. I mean, New Mexico, they knew they were good, but they didn't they hadn't had to play hard yet and hadn't played a hard where for you a full game. Out. That's right. For a full game. Lobo Louie happy. Along with 18,000 fans. That's going to do it. The buzzer sounds, and New Mexico has a huge victory. New Mexico knocks off. Number 11 ranked Arizona. Final score, it's New Mexico 84, Arizona 77. The Lobos go to 5-0, and, oh, and Arizona drops to 2-1. and one. See Thomas, A.J. Bramlin hugging over there. Uh, they paddled each other very hard, but you like seeing that. They were friends in high school and over the summer. That's right, played uh, AAU teams together, BCI, and uh, you're right. I'm glad you played.